What's up, everybody? All right, this video is going to be completely different from our other ones. We went around and picked out our favorite top eight hotels in Ocean City that are kid friendly that we think you would really enjoy. If you haven't stayed there before, you got to check them out. So here we go. So the carousel, this one I would say is the top of my list, one of my favorites. Uh, for the amount of activities and things to do in here, it's absolutely insane compared to the other ones. They have an ice rink, you can rent ice skates and go ice skating in there. They do ice shows, uh, they have movies on the beach, they have an arcade room for the kids, they have a playground outside, uh, the beach is, is pretty much in the in the backyard you just walk right out the back door and it takes you right to the beach they have an indoor pool an outdoor pool uh, like i said it's oceanfront they have a, a little bar and lounge in there too up here you'll see a gift shop right in front of me that's pretty cool um, if you forget anything you know you can run down there and grab it or a souvenir or something like that um, and besides the the bar and lounge that they have they also have a restaurant in there so really if you think about it you don't even have to leave you can just stay in here the whole time unless there's restaurants out in town you'd like to, to check out or or try or your favorite one or something like that but this one's the carousel absolutely at the top of my list i would definitely recommend this place Up next is Castle in the Sand. I do have to say that this one was actually really hard to film during the winter just because they're they're closed um, for the season. So you don't really get to see all the activities that they do offer. Uh, but they do have a pool. They have a buffet breakfast with the kids menu. Uh, Coconuts Beach Bar is in there. That's an extremely popular spot. The building on the right and in front of you, those were two of the three buildings. They actually have three total buildings. Uh, there's tons of kids' activities that they offer, face painting, art, um, all types of different things. They also have a weekly movie night on Tuesdays, and that building right in front of you, that's the third one. This is also uh, Oceanfront 2, and it's literally right on the ocean. So this one is, is a perfect spot if you're looking for a lot of outdoor things to do. So the next one on the list is the Loft Hotel. This is the only Bayside hotel that we looked at and that we thought would be the best uh, place for, for families, teenagers, all that. Just because of the location, uh, the location itself is actually, it's really good. Uh, the Tap House restaurant is right there. There's a Longitude Latitude bar in there. The candy store is in the corner. The beach is literally just across Coastal Highway. It's a quick walk. It's really not far at all. And then they have a Knicks mini golf right here, which is the Knicks mini golf for us. That's always our favorites to play. They're always real clean and friendly. Uh, the hotel is dog friendly. It's extremely modern, up to date, and has a lot of things to do for kids and teenagers and adults too. So you'll see as, as I walk around more and show you, 
uh, but some things that I wanted to point out. They do have a small private beach. Uh, they have a, a indoor pool and an outdoor pool. They have, uh, they say that they have movies, they show movies. Um, I'm not exactly sure where because we're filming in the winter time. So a lot of stuff is pretty much closed and shut down. Uh, they said that they have a uh, game room that we did see in there. You'll see it in a second. So all in all, I think it was one of the better Bayside hotels that we could see. It seemed a little bit more quiet too, if you were looking for that. So here it is. This one's a loft hotel. Our next one that we picked was the Hilton Doubletree Hotel. Uh, this one was all based on the location. It's on 33rd Street, and it's right across from the Jolly Roger Amusements, which like in itself is a whole different video. But they have like a water park, mini golf courses, go-karts, rides for the kids. It's absolutely insane. So that is perfect. Uh, for this hotel, it is oceanfront. Each of the rooms have small balconies with a little seating area for it. There's a coffee shop in here. There's two pools. There's one indoor, which is right here. And there's also an outdoor one too. Uh, but one of the other things about this is it does have the Marlin Moon restaurant, which is a, a great restaurant if you're uh, looking for a new place to eat. So this one's the Hilton Doubletree Hotel. Next up is Dunes Manor Hotel. Absolutely do not let the inside fool you. They do have tons of kids activities. Uh, I would check their website before you go just to see what they have listed for the week. Uh, they have an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. The indoor one, they bring in mermaids to swim around with the kids. I know a lot of kids love doing things like that. So it absolutely is kid friendly. Uh, it is oceanfront, the basement, door will lead you right out onto the beach they have showers down there so if you want to rinse off before you come back inside there's four restaurants two bars and two lounges uh, and there's a coffee place in there too so the restaurants all of them i know serve at least lunch and dinner and i believe one of them serves breakfast uh, at the very end of the video you'll see how close it is to the boardwalk which is like a perfect location um, the only thing I could not get on this video was the pool it's right here uh, the pool is closed for maintenance so I wasn't able to get in there and see too much but I try to put the camera up there so you can see uh, as much as you can but uh, this one's Dunes Manor Hotel definitely check this one out So this one's the Grand Hotel. This one is is definitely at the top of the list for me. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, it, it is like a, a one-stop shop. It's got everything you need in there. They even have a jewelry shop in there. So it's, it's insane. It's crazy. Uh, it is oceanfront. It's perfect. It's right uh, on the further end of the boardwalk. So... To get to the beach, you do have to walk across the boardwalk, which can be sometimes kind of a pain if it's high traffic and all that. 
Um, but other than that, I mean, it's it's got everything that you need. Uh, a couple different restaurants. It has an arcade, uh, an indoor pool, an outdoor pool. It's like I said, it's on the boardwalk. So you can always walk the boardwalk at night or uh, go check out other things going around. But this is definitely one of my favorites. And the coffee shop is awesome too. I really like it in there. Uh, my wife and I go in there all the time when we walk the boardwalk in the winter and we get some coffee and walk around. So Grand Hotel, definitely one of my favorites. Absolutely check it out. It, this video is a little bit longer on this one, uh, but there's just so much to, to see in here. So I'll let you watch it. All right. Hope you like it. So this one is the Holiday Inn. It's on 17th Street on the boardwalk. This one is the most recommended by everybody that I talk to, and it's obvious why. Um, it's oceanfront, so you're not far from the beach at all. Just a quick jump across the boardwalk. Uh, the suites that they have in here are perfect for families because the living room and the bedroom are divided. So if you want to put the kids down early, something like that. Uh, the rooms have balconies on them. And there's indoor pool. There's an outdoor pool. Uh, the little water park for the kids you saw in the beginning has the lazy river slides, all that stuff. Uh, there's a poolside bar on the outside uh, pool that they have. And then the restaurant that they have on site is the Coral Reef Cafe, which is right here. And uh, I heard it's really good. So I think this one might be my new favorite. Holiday Inn 17th Street.
The Princess Royale. I'm just going to start off by saying this. If you are looking to get married or have a wedding in Ocean City, this is the place to go. Their banquet rooms are incredible. The atrium that they have inside the hotel is one of the best I've ever seen. It's on the beach. The place is perfect. Um, if you're staying with a family, it looks like it's it's a good one to go to, but it would not be at the top of my list. But there are a lot of things to do. Uh, so it is oceanfront. I did not see a place to go out on the beach directly from the hotel. I think you have to walk around the side. I could be mistaken, though. They do have a souvenir shop. They have a huge indoor pool. Uh, I mean, it, it's big. It's massive. Uh, they have a restaurant inside there that seemed to be pretty good. Uh, they offered an umbrella and chair rental right outside on the beach, which makes it easier so you don't have to lug all your stuff out there. They have a spa. They have an arcade. So it's definitely a hotel to check out. Uh, as far as family wise, I would say that it's absolutely family friendly. I just don't think it has all the other options as the other hotels, uh, just because it's so much further down from uh, the rest of the, the atmosphere of, of downtown Ocean City. So in here is the atrium and you'll see how big the pool is in a second. I'll show you all of it. So I hope you like it. This one's the Princess Royale.